you want to get crazy. Oh, we can get crazy. DJ Robomaster S1. It's a $499 programmable smart robot that can protect, that can attack, but most importantly, thanks to its mechanic wheels and low latency FPV, that can bring video games to life. And here it is! DJI Robomaster S1 comes in this giant box. On the box we see a detailed explanation of the things this robot can do. Inside the box we're greeted with this foam and underneath the foam we're greeted with S1 itself unassembled. It's as if DJI is saying if you cannot assemble this, you're not playing with us. Okay, I can do this. Hold on to something. Inside this little box you can find some vision markers, 1000 RPM brushes, motors, parts for the mechanic wheels, the blue tape that S1 can follow, front armor, wheel rollers, grease but not the musical, more parts for the wheels, motion controller, battery charger, 2400 mAh intelligent battery that gives S1 35 minutes of robot time, screws, a bottle full of gel beads, safety goggles, more parts, the chassis, intelligent controller, blaster, rear armor, the gimbal, the gel beads container, 5 megapixel CMOS 1 over 4 inch camera that has 120 degrees field of view and that can shoot 1080p 30 frames per second 16 megabits per second video side armor speakers and heat detectors oh wow okay now you may think that ain't nobody got time to put this together but i have to tell you that putting this robot together was the best time i had in a long time if you enjoy legos puzzles you're going to love this stage and you get to learn about your robot so when you need to do some maintenance you will know what to do the app is very simple yet it has a lot of features but one feature is that you cannot turn the music off and I hope by the time this app gets released they add that feature and with the right finger just like playing a video game on your phone you, you can rotate and with the left finger you can strafe go forward and backwards and then you aim and tap to engage blasters there are two types of blasters infrared and gel beads you can use whichever you like the intelligent heat sensors on these robots can detect a hit and robots health drops accordingly there are different kinds of games you can play you can play by yourself or with others. The mechanic wheels gives these robots unreal maneuver abilities that makes it look badly photoshopped into the scene. And of course since this thing has a gimbal, a camera and a DJI logo on it, it can track you. It can actually track you pretty good. It looks like it doesn't just try to follow you by cutting corners and coming towards you, it looks like it is following you by your footsteps. But this is just the beginning. This thing is based on DJI's Robo Master competition. And these robot competitions are not like that dumb Pacific Rim Jobs movies where you have all that technology yet you still have to be in that robot to fight monsters. Where this you can use the power of programming languages like Scratch and Python. You can teach S1 to do a lot of things. And if you don't know how to program, that's where it gets exciting. It teaches you how to program. There's a beginner guide and when you go into beginner guide here, I tried it so we're on the third page. It shows you everything to start programming. And by programming you can make it follow that blue tape you can give it a 90 degree turn using its sensors when it detects a hit it can turn around and do what's necessary it can track another s1 you can use claps gestures to control it the list of what it can do is limited 
simply by you. So when all this programming, AI and FPV is combined, Robomaster S1 becomes much more than robot versus robot competition. It becomes something like modern day chess. It can connect your phone via Wi-Fi or it can connect your router via Wi-Fi. So when there is more than one of these, they can all connect to the router and then you can play against each other. You can use these vision markers and place them anywhere you want and play a game. As you can see, it is pretty responsive and for some reason, it looks and feels alive. I think I'm feeling what I felt for BB-8 to, to this. You wanna say hi? Yes, I wanna say hi. No, I don't wanna say hi. If you wanna be able to control this even better, DJI has this gaming pad where you plug your phone in and now it is easier to control. So if you're serious about this, I suggest you get this control pad because it changes everything a lot. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But of course, this thing is a lot more fun when you have friends. I don't have friends. Oh, hey guys. I have opponents. Opponents like these. Jenna the Furiosa. Aldrin the Destroyer. Justine, the John Wick, and me, the guy who never lost a robot game simply because he has never played it before. So when these troublemakers who don't accept losing as an option meet in a robot competition, the tension rises. So yeah, you get the point. Since this is the first of its kind on my channel, I have nothing to compare this to. But I have to say I really enjoyed building, playing around programming and competing against my wonderful friends. I think it's a great tool to combine education and fun so people can play games and learn at the same time. The second I can find a better way to mount a camera on this, I am making this little guy my AI cameraman. Since we're here and since we just played, let's see what my friends think of S1. This thing's surprisingly built really, really well. I think, I don't know how many times we've banged it up. And I mean, yeah, it shows some basic scuff marks, but I mean, this thing took a beating. Yeah. And considering that We've done everything on this thing from programming to now battling, and it looks and it works fine. That is awesome. Next, I'd like to invite Jenna. Oh, oh. Hi, oh my gosh. welcome, Thank you so much welcome for to my me. show. Yeah, this... I hear that a movie of yours is coming out. You're here to promote your movie. Yes, it's called um, RoboMaster. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, really fun. Justine and I, well, I'm not going to lie, she was kind of building most of it, but I was participating. And it was just a really cool experience. It's really fun. Of all of you guys, had a great time. It's very sturdy, which I learned the hard way. But yeah, it's, it's really cool. I forgot the fact that like I assembled it. You assembled like We assembled these things ourselves. And it's really cool because you can add some really cool modifications. You can also program it to do anything that you want, essentially. And just being able to be here and like playing with all of our friends was really cool. Yeah, it made a huge difference, didn't it? Should we do this again one day, I think? I think we should. And I think this time we should get even more serious. 
we should. I mean, I brought my own router from home to make oh, yeah. this all happen. I was yeah. like, B-Y-O-R? Bring your own router? Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how we roll. <laughs> that's what we call it in this business. B-Y-O-R. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please! Hit that subscribe button, I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it. And join the world domination! And please let me know what you think about RoboMaster S1 in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time... What's that? You're challenging me? You... I'm sorry, what? You... You're ch you and me? Let's go. Let's go. You name the place and you name the time. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll see you there. Okay. Well, until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And horse check And ho horse check